that be good conversation. What's that? I said it better be good conversation. Oh, that's it. I don't know. You got it. Go ugly. That's not where I want it to be. Hey, sir, sir, sir. Hey, can you reel that one in for me if you don't mind? I'm sorry, man.
Yeah. Yeah. I got one right there too if you don't. Thank you, sir. Sideways on it. Is it? It's, would you just hang in there? Like, yeah, I got it. I got it. Oh, that's a pretty one, too. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's go. Uh, there you go. Thank you. That would be a that's, slot. That's that's my biggest one. That's a slot. That's awesome. Well, if they were in season. That's they a nice one. Yep, that's the biggest one I've caught. That's an awesome. That's fun, man. So when, we, when you release them, you know that. Some money, yeah. Hey, can you? Hey, man, I'll take your picture. Yeah, can you? It's good, good, good job, guys. Here you go. Let's uh, take a picture right here. Right here. Hold on, give me one second. Yeah. Okay. Right here. Oh. Fingers behind the fish if you can. Right. So you hide your fingers. You bring your knuckles in like this. Under under the fish so you don't get it. I got lots of pictures. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'll let you fix. You can just put it right there. Thank you, sir. Hey, thanks for reeling that in. I appreciate it. Yeah. Right, guys so you guys miss me i only i only have a little bit of foot uh footage left actually a little a little bit of battery power left on here but you missed me catching this big red uh it is a slot so i am taking it home and uh my main man what's your name sir paul paul mr paul he helped me uh net this bad boy ran across the street and uh Without him, I couldn't have netted that red, guys. So what I'm gonna do for him is, I'm gonna give him these uh, these snapper I caught. They're all 10 inches. I got one that's 11. If you want them, you want them? Yeah. Okay. You. All right, cool, cool. So. Oh, there's some keeper, huh? Yep. Oh, thank you, thank yep. you. Yep, one's, one's 11, 12, and then a, a 10 inch. All right, thank you, man. Hey, thank you, sir. I appreciate your help. Like I said, guys, without without him, I could not have netted that red fish. So that is a beautiful red. Yeah, it is. Guys, thank you for watching, and uh, we're gonna see you back home. I'm gonna do a catching cook. You guys, stay tuned. <clears throat> All right, guys. So we're back in the kitchen, and uh, today I'm gonna be cooking up that red fish you guys saw. Um, unfortunately, you didn't get to see me catch it. But that's how it goes. I didn't have enough uh, camera time, uh, so I only had enough to actually uh, do a, a clip of the guy that actually helped me uh, bring it in. Um, so thankful, I'm very thankful for for this gentleman who stepped in and uh, you know took took the time away from you know fishing himself 
ran across the street and uh, you know helped me haul in this uh, this nice redfish. Um, so that's what I'm cooking for you guys today. Um, we're gonna do a redfish uh, with um, a uh, fire roasted uh, tomato. Um, it's a, a, a garlic based sauce, and um, we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna pair that with uh, artichokes, uh, mushrooms, and we're gonna do a couscous as well. Um, for those of you that don't know what couscous is, couscous is a uh, it's a uh, Israeli style pasta. Um, so couscous is is awesome for uh, fish dishes. Um, so. Guys, without further delay, um, we're gonna jump right into this thing. All right, let's get cooking. All right, guys, so with this couscous, um, what we need to do is we need to add one and a half cup of uh, water, um, but I don't like using uh, water because I like uh, seasoning, because I like seasoning uh, flavor. So uh, I wanna add flavor to my dishes. Uh, so I'm going to be using chicken stock. Uh, so we're just going to add one and a half cup of chicken stock. And we're just going to bring this to a boil. And once that, once that reaches a boil, what you want to do is, we're going to look down. Yep, that's one and a half. So when this become, when this reaches a boil, what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, a tablespoon of either butter or oil. Um, I'm not going to add either. I like adding, I can't believe it's not butter. You guys can laugh at me all you want, but it's got the taste of butter, but it's not butter. Um, we love this. My wife actually put me onto this and um, it's healthy. Healthier, I mean, butter, I mean, any butter, any cholesterol, anything with cholesterol is, is, not, uh, is not healthy, but um, this is, uh, this is, this is a, a better, a better go-to than than butter or oil um, also uh, salt to taste but consider we're adding chicken stock we're not gonna add any salt okay so we're gonna let that come to a boil then we're gonna add um, our couscous and we're gonna add our butter right now we are going to uh, fillet the fish and uh, pardon me guys I gotta take a sip of my Modelo while I listen to my jazz. I'm only gonna do one of these on film for you guys. Now I did catch this this uh, redfish in, in the river, um, close to Sebastian, it was inlet. Intercoastal, not inlet, but intercoastal. Um, so I do hear that a lot of the redfish that are caught there, typically they have worms. Uh, hopefully this one does not have worms because the cooking video is a wrap but we'll see but you find the spawn and you follow and you want to hear those ribs that rib cage and we're only going to cook one of these today i'm going to give the other half away You always need a, a sharp knife, especially with redfish. That was just gonna, gonna cut down in there. Okay guys, there he is. And I don't see any worms, so we are good to go. Cooking video adjourned. All right guys, just bear with me. I'm gonna skin the other side and I'll be right back. All right guys, so we're gonna add our couscous now. And we're gonna bring that to a simmer. So we're gonna add our tablespoon of butter. 
then what we're going to do is we're going to let that, uh, we're going to bring that to a simmer. Put the lid on and we're gonna let it cook. Let that simmer and then put the lid on. Alright, we are good. Sorry, I said simmer, I mean boil. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower the temperature and now we're gonna simmer. Put the lid on and let it simmer. That's it. And we should have couscous. All right guys, so we got our fillets here. It's only my wife and I are gonna be eating. So I only got two, two of those fillets out of, uh, what am I doing? It's supposed to be egg yolk first. So I do egg yolk first into the, uh, the crumb. And guys, this is uh, this is um, shake and bake. I know you guys are like, what are you doing with shake and bake? But yeah, shake and bake. And I don't, I don't need to get a I don't need to get it to um, a uh, evenly coat. I want it, I just wanted to coat just a little bit. Coat it all. Some of it can fall off actually. I just want some of those crumbs on there. Just like that. Put it back on there. My grease got a little too hot, guys, so I had to take it off. But we're gonna let that cook. Once I get a hard cook on it, what I'll do is I even cook on both sides for about two, three minutes. And then uh, I'm going to uh, put it in the oven, finish it off in the oven. And then we're going, we're going to start making our sauce. Our couscous is ready. So you guys can see that. There's a the couscous. Nice and hot. It is ready. Got my pan ready to go for what's going in the oven, which is the red drum. So we'll let that cook on this side for about another minute. And then we'll flip it. Modelo time. This commercial is brought to you by Modelo. Drink responsible. Drink responsibly. Yeah, that's it. Guys, don't judge me. I have three already, so I'm home. I'm relaxing. I got jazz playing. I'm cooking. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Okay? Don't judge me. Flip it. Oh, yeah. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Turn that fire down some. Looking good, guys, looking good. This is going to be awesome. I know it. Ah. So once we get done with this, what we're gonna do is take our fish out, finish it off in the oven, and then we're gonna deglaze the pan with white wine. Uh, sorry, not white wine, but uh, golden cooking wine. <clears throat> sorry, correction. We're gonna saute our mushrooms and we're gonna saute our uh, fire roasted diced uh, tomatoes with the uh, artichoke. Then we're gonna deglaze the pan. How does that sound, guys? Does that sound like a winner, winner? 
red drum dinner. Says to me. Down. Now, what we'll do is take this, put this on the oven. That's on 350 degrees. And then we're going to finish cooking. We're going to cook our mushrooms. Aye, aye, aye. Cook those mushrooms. Marinated artichokes. We'll add the artichokes last since they're marinated. Let these uh, mushrooms simmer down a little bit. I'm gonna leave that at a mall. It's only me and my wife. Throw the rest of them in the garbage. I know you guys don't waste money, but hey, we're not gonna eat it anyway. That's what I can hear in the back of my mind. Don't waste money. Probably because I'm a chef. Don't waste money. But, like I said, it's only her and I eating, so it's gonna get <laughs> wasted regardless. But um, I got uh, baby portobello mushrooms that I'm cooking off right here for you guys. We're just gonna cook those. And you know what? I forgot. Let's open up the fire roaster. Tomatoes. We're gonna to open our nails. Ooh, hunts. Came out with five roasted tomatoes. Guys, you guys haven't tried these in dishes? You need to try them. You need to try them. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my God, it smells so good. Alright, now it's safe to add artichokes. Almost dropping something down. Oh! That's trash. When I cook, guys, I go through about 100 paper towels. You guys see me shaking this pan. That's that's the chef side in me. Chefs constantly move a saute pan. Constantly. I don't know why we do it, but we do it. guys really good now what I'm gonna do is saute a little bit more
I'm gonna hit it with some white wine. I'm gonna drain some of this liquid out because that's not the liquid I want. It's got some grease in there too. So I'm gonna drain some of that out. Sink. Got our veggies nice and coated, sauteed. We're gonna add some water to it. Oh, gotta love the sound of wine hitting that saute pan. Sitting so drilling and rush. Oh, guys, this smells so good. Smells really fantastic. You guys, I don't know where that third voice, that second voice is coming. That's my cooking voice when I put it on. All right. So, now, here's the trick, guys. We're going to add heavy cream. There it is. The tomatoes are already cooked, so we're gonna add them in a minute. But we're gonna add heavy cream. All right, 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 right. You guys, you guys watching? You guys watching? You guys watching? Heavy cream. Right, 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 right. There it is. There it is. Add a little lemon juice. Just a little bit. Oh. Little squirt. Now what this heavy this heavy cream is doing is acting as a, a leavening agent. So what that does is that thickens up the sauce for us, right? And then we're gonna add the tomatoes in here. Add the tomatoes. Once we get a nice boil bring to a boil on those we'll add the tomatoes bring that down all right Just a little bit of butter. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. And now, I'm gonna add our tomatoes. trash pound. I'll let that come to a, a nice boil. Alright guys, once that comes to it comes to a boil, we'll let that reduce a little bit. And then, um, I bet you guys are wondering why I got the, uh, the blender out. Stay tuned. You'll see why. All right, guys. So, as promised, I wanted to show you guys what I had the blender out for. Now, what you're going to do is, you're going to take majority of this, right? You want to leave some hole because that's going to be your garnish. Well, you're going to shame what you eat, actually. And you're just going to blend that up, right? And you're going to let the rest of that reduce in there. We're going to blend that up.
what you're going to do is you're going to add this back in there. Right. Add that back in there. You're still going to see. Now you guys see how thick that is now? And last ingredient. This is what I use. Garlic Alfredo, guys. Since we're having pasta, we're gonna add a little bit of Alfredo sauce. Yeah, I could have made it. Do I know how to make Alfredo sauce? Yeah, I actually do. But that's a process. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna incorporate something that's already made. And that's it guys. That is what we do. Unplug our blender. We'll let that heat up and we'll plate it. Alright guys, so I have my uh my fish on the plate. I'm gonna add some of that sauce to it. Just lay it on the front right there like that. And then that's it guys, that is it. I add some parsley to it, give it some, give it some color. Guys, that's all you need, that's it. Look at that, beautiful dish, beautiful dish. Light, light dish, look at that guys. Look at that. It doesn't get any better than that. That's awesome right there. That's that redfish I just caught, guys. An hour ago, he was swimming. All right, guys, there it is. There is that redfish right there plated up. It's got that nice sauce. It's got the crust. On the redfish, it's got the couscous sitting on the bed of couscous. Guys, listen, me and my wife were gonna enjoy this, and uh, I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I thank you for watching this because I really appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Um, I just started, but I know it's going to be bigger and better things for me out there. Um, and I could not be in a place where I am now without you. And uh, I just wanted to show you how much I appreciate your support, your comments, your watching. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next time.